Hey guys, welcome back. I just wanted to stop in before the episode started to let you know that I have finished the map. There was a lot of exploring going on in between what I'm going to show you. So I, I didn't really want to show all of that because it's really tedious and boring and I was just running from place to place. So I split it up into just the highlights of when I actually got to the dungeons and stuff and did that. And including finding the Victory Monument and everything, don't worry about it. You've got all the interesting stuff, I promise. So, enjoy! Uh, oh, it's just the jungle biome. We've already been there! I, mean, I think we did two dungeons in there, didn't we? Or was it just one? I don't remember, actually. Um, there was the one in the water. See, they're all so freaking similar. I can't remember the difference. There was the one where we found it. It was a, um... Let's get some of these sheep. It was a big pile of rock and mossy cobble in the middle of a piece of... Uh, mid of bleh, in the middle of a bit of water. But I don't remember... Oh my god! We found it! Oh my god! Oh my god, guys! We found it! <laughs> Holy crap! Holy crap! A crap! A crap! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! We freaking passed it too. Why here? There's no. There isn't even a building around it. Like I was at least expecting that. Okay. Okay. White wool. There you go. Orange wool. There you go. Magenta wool. Okay, light blue, yellow we don't have, lime was there, pink, gray, light gray, cyan, purple, don't have blue, don't have brown either, green, Red. Black. And now... <laughs> oh, I can make the diamond block and the iron block right now. Wow, really running out of wood here. I have to stop soon and pick some up. Glad I picked up all that diamond. And didn't use all of it. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, so let's see what we need now. We need blue, brown, yellow, and gold. Okay, let's come over here, and grab some wood, because I want to make a chest to put all of that um, wool into. Crap. Now, of course, my inventory's full. Um... Okay. There we go. It'll be enough to make the chest. So I can clear out my inventory. Finally! Set this down. Oh, that's so nice! Oh, look at all the space, guys. Look at all the space. We could carry around everything. I could just pick up the world and put it in my pants. Because I like to do that. Oh, I even forgot to take out the Red Bull. But you know what? It doesn't matter because we've got enough space. Now let's sleep in front of the Victory Monument. Oh, boy. I can't believe we found it. Oh, this is such a weird place for it. <laughs> I feel like I sound like the double rainbow guy. Do I? I feel like I do. Did I accidentally pick up... Where's black go? That's not black, that's gray. Silly, Ryan. Okay. Now we're good. I think. Yeah, we used three of the light gray wools to make a bed. So. There we go. Make sure we have enough. Just in case something happens to this wool, we'll have enough in there. Actually, yeah, I'm going to keep... How many did I... I think I used all but three of them. So we'll just put that back in there. We can just we can just take the bed, actually. So I'll just leave all the wool in here. 
Because at the very most, we need three more wool. And a gold block. Which leaves tons of space. So, hooray. Okay, guys. I have checked the map, and I believe that I am coming upon a dungeon here. We just are coming in from the plains. Shouldn't be this far away. If it is a dungeon. There's at the very least something big and gray on the mini-map. Aha! That is what we were looking for. Fantastic! So we've actually got another dungeon now. Um, let's see, do we have potions in here? Yeah, we've got potions all over the place. We're good. Got some TNT. Man, finding the victory monument was a big, big boon to us. But yeah, so I am. I did check the map for anything that looked like it might have been a dungeon. Um, oh god, it's already starting. Um, for anything that may have been uh, a dungeon or anything of interest, really. I don't need that. Um, oh boy, those, those mobs don't sound happy. Grab that. those with me. I mean, why not? Where are they? Down, apparently. What's up here? Mm, nothing of particular use. Alright. And, oh, I forgot to check the time. Alright. So, there's the mountains. Man, I never would have found this place. If, um... But hey, no. If I hadn't been looking at the map. Like, it just definitely would never have happened. Because, son of a... I appreciate you trying to destroy the spawners for me, but I think I'll handle that myself. Just to be safe. Ow. Oh, whoa. He's a sneaky little bugger, isn't he? I suppose they're creepers. It's kind of what they do. I don't trust that. What's up there? Outside. Interesting. I hear lava. Which is, uh, kind of scary. <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, fortunately we do have our fire resist potions, so theoretically nothing too bad should happen to us. Put those away, put those away, put those away. Keep the arrows that I find. Um... I want to have all of these on the bar at the same time. Okay, well these aren't really necessary. So let's put these here. We can have that down there. Um, and they're off the bucket. There we go. And... Wow! Easiest dungeon ever. <laughs> okay. Um, well that was unexpected. Like, a lot. So, um, alright, uh, yeah, okay, um, uh, by the way, if you're wondering where we are, um, oh, and if you go on the, on Vex's forum page, he has a map of this place that you can, there's a link to it, um, you can click on that and see the whole map of the island, uh, that's what I'm using, and, um, yeah, uh, I, we came from over there, which was, I believe we came from over there, didn't we? I think so. Yeah, because we came from the treetops, right? I think we came from over here. Yeah. Um, and 
that's just, we spawned over there. I just ran up to the tower, really, and then ran a bit farther. Like, well, I suppose the tower's over there. The spawn point's really way, way over there. I ran to the tower that's in the middle of the plains, and I went up it, which is why I had so much flint in my inventory. I used gravel to climb. Uh, almost died, actually, but nothing happened, so we're good. There was one skeleton, and he shot me, and it's not important. <laughs> Being in, in high places with a skeleton around is just bad, so keep that in mind. But, uh... Yeah, so nothing too serious happened. Um, these are the plains, obviously. I just went about halfway. You saw the mountains in the background. Um, so, yeah. And if if you're looking for a reference point, there's a lake next to a lava pool over here, or a small pond, I should say, next to a lava pool over here. So if you find those, just... Um, well, I suppose it would be below... Like, the, the map is oriented this way. I flipped it upside down for my own purposes, because it made more sense to me. Um, but, so, the, the forest will be in here, and the mountains will be over there, and then you'll have this little lava pool and water pool down there. So, just for a reference where we are, you'll see the square in the, in the forest. It's just a gray square. But yeah, so I will uh, sign out now, and I'll come back when we find some other place. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll find it soon. Uh, so I'll be back in a second. Aha! Um, I can't say I was really expecting this too much. Uh, I, I just came out of the jungle there, or the forest. I just, we're on the other side of the mountains now from where we were just a second ago. Um, the mountains should be in that general direction. Uh, I just kind of came out into the forest a little bit this way and then came straight through. And looks like we found something new. Uh, I really wasn't sure what this was because on the map it was two different colors of gray, and it was very large, and I thought it might have just been like a big, um, it looks neat though, interesting castle idea, ah, skeletons already, is there any way in, here we go, let's just charge in head first, because that usually works out, right, uh, I did, oh no, creepers everywhere, oh, he, no, he didn't blow up, I thought he would, Oh, would you look at that? Spiders. Everywhere. Oh, boy. Okay, let's just destroy that real quick. Well, I killed that spider. Creepers are really good at killing things. <laughs> So I don't have to. I've noticed that. Uh, I almost got blown up in the woods. I was running around doing my mind my own business, and I it got dark, so I decided to sleep. And uh, while I was laying there, a creeper decided that would be a great time to come and ambush me, which it kind of was. And uh, I can't ah, fault him for that. Oh, really? Cave spiders? Why are there so many of them on this map? Oh, crap. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't notice that. Like, why I didn't realize that was going to happen as soon as I started mining it. But, oh well. Nope, I want that. Oh, God. Well, that opened things up a bit. Yeah, these are all, uh, silverfish blocks. So we can't exactly do anything with them. Well, we can. It's inadvisable. Oh, here we go. How did I... Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Could have just walked over there. It makes me feel good. I know what I'm doing, guys. Don't worry about it. Just gonna drink this real quick. And, uh, put that back. That should last... That'll last two minutes now. Ow. Ow. Dude, really? Just quit being a dick, okay? Wow. I don't know how that didn't how that didn't, 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 you know? Okay, you just die now. Also, you, and you can just stop existing. Um, nothing of interest, and this is a dangerous hole. Oh, God. 
So scared. Where are they all? Are they just up here? I'll just wall that off real quick. Because it's just a trap. Oh, cave spiders everywhere. No! No. I hate cave spiders, guys. Really, really bad. Oh god. 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 <laughs> no, don't blow up my walkway! That was my way out, butthead! Okay, you know what? Just wall myself in here. Whoa! That was dangerous. Oh, I can't, because there's a thing up there. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I can't help but wonder if there's something up. Oh god, run. <laughs> so. Oh, also, what's in here? Ah! No! Jeez, buddy. Just chill, okay? Just chill out. Same goes for the rest of you stupid creepers. Those are half slabs. So we can just come up here. And I am having a bit of trouble because I don't know where the next part of the dungeon could possibly be. So, um... I am going to look in here. Silverfish blocks. Of course. Um... Let's dump some lava on them. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, it's going down the hole. Oh, I don't know why I went that way. Ooh, there's a spawner. Cave spider spawner, no less. See if we can't take out some zombies here. Oh, there's a hole on both ends? I didn't know that. There's a creeper spawner. And presumably, same place on the other side? Yeah. And this one? Nope. Oh, there it is. Okay. So now. Well, except for the fact that there's lava everywhere. Should be safe to hop down here. Okay. Nothing particularly interesting. Um, there's the the wool chest. All covered in lava. Oh, lagged a little bit there and kind of scared me. Gotta be careful with this, uh, oh boy. Um, what I was referring to is I have to be careful with this, um... Come on, little guy, just jump off. There you go. With this... Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, let's just get out of here. <laughs> um, I don't... Oh, boy. Oof. That was close. Just hop down here. Get down quickly. Alright, now, again, I, I don't know where the next dungeon would be. Um, I have an idea. I believe there was something else up by the swamp, actually, that I may or may not have visited already, so I will probably make my way there and see if there's anything to be had. So I will come back to you when I get there, um, or if I, if it's not there, then I'll get back to you whenever I find where it is that we are supposed to go. I think we might have found it, guys. Um, there's the mountains right there. There was this big lake. I did go up to the swamp, 
but there was nothing there. It was actually a dungeon we'd already been to, and I didn't realize that until uh, I got there. It was the one that had the little pillar going up, and we climbed up it, and then went down underneath, and I think it was one of the ones with the big areas underground. And if this doesn't look like a trap, I don't know what does, okay? Just saying, Cole. But let's... Oh, or it's going to be one of the easiest dungeons ever. And there's our last wall. Okay, guys. <laughs> um... Well, I guess things are going well today, then. Maybe sometimes all you need is a map. Isn't that poetic? Mix up these thingies. Yay. Oh, and I changed my skin back. Woo! Okay, so I guess we have to begin our trek to the... Oh, right, but no, we need more gold. Nah. Um, where to get gold? Actually, that dungeon over there might have had gold in it. Um, hmm. Or I could just set up a mine, I suppose. Um, because this world is... Like, there hasn't been any situations where I've been given tons of... Um, oh, actually, we can go up to the top of the mountain and climb down that one, because I know that one goes really deep. And this one definitely will have gold in it. And it's really close. So that's convenient. Um, I suppose we could just run to it. I don't see why not. Um, instead of cutting all of that out, uh, I will talk a bit. How's that sound? This episode has been a, has, bleh, has been a bit jumpy. Um, because, oh god, it's nighttime. Um... Because I've been trying to run, you know, I've been running around for quite a while now. I don't think any of those things see me. Let's hope they don't. Yay! Okay. Now let's come with the mountains. Um. Yeah. The by nature, this episode is gonna has been a bit jumpy, just because I have been running around and cutting out and then cutting back in and. Um, so, let's just walk to this one. Have a nice little leisurely walk. This is going to be the last episode, so I don't see why uh, I really need to worry about time constraints. Uh, I'll just play until I'm done. You know? That's always the nice way to do it. Okay, this is boring. I'm bored, you guys are probably bored. Why? I'll just build my way up. Hi, pig. Hi, more pigs. Nope. Oh, you're my way, pig. There we go. Now, I don't remember where the, um, where exactly, like, which mountain the dungeon is on. It should be, I want to say this one over here. Um, well, not necessarily the one we're climbing now, because I think this one ends right about here. Um, it's, that's suspicious. Oh, that's the, yeah, that's the one with the wool box. Which means the one with the dungeon on it should be coming up soon. Um, we do need four more gold in order to make the gold block. So, unfortunately, I was really hoping to come across a dungeon that would have gold in it. But that never happens, so, you know, well, it's unfortunate, but it happens. Um, we'll get a chance to visit the hardest dungeon again. <laughs> If I die in there, though, this is going to be horrifically embarrassing, because we've <laughs> we've survived this entire trip, so many near-death experiences, and to die after going back to get the gold block, because we didn't bring out enough gold with us before, oh, that'd be awful. Like, we've got all the wolves now. We've got the blue, yellow, and brown, which are the three that we were missing, and that's all that we need aside from the gold block. And I, I'm going to count the game as completed, even if I do die. I don't intend to, but, you know, nobody ever intends to. Uh, so, that's just me preparing you for what may happen. Ow! Especially if I keep doing things like that. Ow. Ow. 
Okay, we're good. Now, where was the stairs down? There's coal on the sides. Suspicious. Okay. Let's see, did I leave anything good in here? No, not really. There's still lava here. Yeah, um, I found it funny how I actually, while I was exploring one time, I did come across a, um, some, oops, I thought I destroyed all the spawners in here. I'm so bad at that. I remember when I came up, I found one in there. Was it in there? It was somewhere. Um, oh, and there's more lava, but that's actually a source block, so that's just going to keep flowing. Uh, when I was exploring, I did find where I dumped my wooden tools at the very beginning of the map. Um, that was a big surprise. I wasn't expecting it. So, it's kind of funny. Just to see, you know, how things went before. Or what happened before. I could just, like, drink this potion and jump in the lava, but I'm really... D I don't want to do that. I feel like that would be a terrible mistake. Possibly one that could cost us our lives and the uh, the whole map. So let's not do that. I'm not a risk taker, and I also happen to not die often. So you know, take that however you want to. There's no gold in here. Oh, there's a slime. Yeah, there's a big slime. He's a big boy. He's just a medium-sized slime. Never mind. He's not a big boy. Um, what was in here? Oh, this was that room with all the where I found all the diamond. Sweet. Yeah, there should definitely be gold down here. Oh, is there like a dark room up there? Gold. Yes. grab some of this. Actually, let's see. Let's grab... We need nine, which means we have two. So let's grab 22 more. So I can't count and talk at the same time. Let's grab a bunch. And once I have... Oh boy. Scary noises. Scary noises aren't fun. They're scary. That's, that's why they're called scary noises. If any of you weren't aware. Do I have enough? Nope. I need 32, I believe. I intend to make myself some celebratory armor. That should be enough. Uh, I'll just grab a few more just in case. And it gives me a way out. Alrighty. Let's go. Um, this time I will meet you guys at the monument because it is kind of far away. So, yeah, I'll be with you in just a second. This is it, guys. Let's just stick this wool in here. Yellow, blue, brown, and gold! We did it! On hardcore mode! In the... Can I see your fire? No, we're good. We did it! <laughs> in hardcore mode! With... Yeah... Okay, um, Vex said that this map wasn't supposed to be very hard because it's the first one, or it wasn't going to be very hard because it's the first one in his series, but, or, in the, it's the first one he's done of this type, where, you know, there's, you go out and explore, and probably also the randomization thing. Um, but I say balls to that, because this thing was really difficult, particularly these two, <laughs> which is interesting, because, I mean, maybe the red and the black ones were intentionally, like, they would always be in the one place, but they were definitely the hardest dungeon, I think. Um, particularly that really large room was incredibly difficult. Uh, let's see. Some of them were pretty easy, some of them were pretty hard, but, you know, we made our way through. Oh, and I made myself some butter armor. So, that's cool. And apparently I picked up a flower at some point. Flower. So, uh, yeah. After this episode is uploading, I'll start up... Er, pff, pff, ah, what did I just say? <laughs> um, I'll be uploading Let's Play videos from now on. I'll be making them ten minutes long. 
because, um, you know, I know you guys can't have, or some of you don't have infinite amounts of time to watch my videos every day, but, yeah, so hopefully I'll, I'll be able to get them out more consistently, um, because, like, sorry, I didn't get an, up, an episode up yesterday, and I don't think I got one up the day before either, I'm not really sure, um, I was, I was spending some time looking around, and then I realized that, you know, I could, uh, just check the map, and, yeah, so, we ended up finding everything alright, uh, good map, I would say, maybe make the, the things a bit more obvious, um, put them in, in the middle of places, uh, it's, it's one thing to want people to have to explore for your stuff, like, the one that was in the jungle is fine. Because as long as you keep at least one dungeon in every biome, or I would say keep the number of dungeons in each biome consistent, so that way I know how many to look for. Because, or even maybe just relative to size, because I mean, the jungle is really actually quite small. Like, it ends like right over there, and it starts right over there. Uh, and it really doesn't go that far in. I'd say it's about, you know, rectangular. So, uh, you know how big this half is, so it's about that, that big on the other side, too. Um, this... This plains biome goes all the way from that that coast over there, the the deserts that way, and it wraps all the way around the the forest and the mountains and goes all the way back around to the coast, meeting up with the desert on the other side. And then there's the swamp that spans that entire side of the coast, and I think that's it. But yeah, uh, so I would say like the only reason that I found most of these dungeons is because I figured, well, there's supposed to be, like, this many in this place, right? So I ended up finding it, but some of the ones, like, the one that we found first this episode, it was just too far in the trees. I was trying to look, f like, I couldn't have seen that from the outside, and I couldn't have seen it from in the forest, either. I would have had to be up on the treetops, which is why I found it this time. Or that's how I found it this time, I should say. I found it because I had the map, but, you know. Um... So, yeah, that's that's my one complaint about the map, is that it was a little bit too hard to find stuff. I don't usually like the open-world CTM. I like the ones where you've got the junctions, where you can go in and say, okay, this is one big area, and I know there's a wall somewhere in here. But there's only one, so I know when I find it, I'm done. And usually, Vex does a pretty good job of making a path around, you know, so you can find whatever you're looking for. It just happens to have a lot and lots and lots of mobs in the way. Um... Yeah. So, anyway, I guess that's all I have to say about this map. It's really fun, though. Uh, I didn't think I'd be able to do it, especially after dying that first time. I expected there to be tons of deaths, but... Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time, hopefully in the Let's Play world. Uh, I might actually make a redstone video before then, but if not, then I will see you next time in the Let's Play world. Uh, so, thank you for watching. Bye!